local 1504 thespians with their reenactment of the fairy tale, The Ugly Beaver. Please put your hands together. Once upon a time, in a peaceful forest, nestled between towering trees and glistening rivers, lived a family of beavers. Mr. and Mrs. Beaver had four little beaver kids, but there was one among them who looked quite different from the rest. Little Betty, the youngest of the beaver kids, had unruly, unusual white fur, slightly larger front teeth. Her brothers and sisters, with their sleek coats and perfectly aligned teeth, would often tease her. They called her Ugly Betty and made fun of her appearance. Hey, watch where you point that tooth, Ugly Betty. You might poke someone's eye out. Betty, your fur is such a mess. An old appointment at the Beaver Hair and Spa couldn't tame you. Even a merkin wouldn't help. Betty's heart grew heavy with sadness as she listened to their hurtful words day after day. Why is everybody mean to me? I know I'm a special beaver if they would just give me a chance. Feeling out of place, she decided to explore the forest in search of somewhere that she could belong. She waddled away from the beaver lodge and embarked on a journey of self-discovery. As Betty ventured deeper into the forest, she encountered various animals, each with unique features. She met a wise old owl with magnificent feathers. The owl taught Betty to stand tall and be proud of herself. Betty also met a playful squirrel with a fluffy tail. The squirrel taught Betty how to laugh and have fun. They giggled and scurried among the trees all afternoon. All the animals accepted Betty for who she was and encouraged her to embrace her differences. One sunny afternoon, Betty stumbled upon a tranquil lake surrounded by colorful flowers. In the middle of the lake, she noticed a group of graceful swans gliding effortlessly across the water. Their elegance and beauty mesmerized Betty. She longed to be like them, but she was just an ordinary beaver. Curiosity got the better of Betty, so she ran and she dove into the water. She swam towards the swans, hoping to join them. The swans were startled at first by Betty's presence, but soon they realized she meant no harm. They saw the sadness in her eyes and decided to befriend her. The swans introduced Betty to their graceful ways and taught her to glide through the water with elegance. The mother swan said, you know what? You're a pretty good swimmer. Betty discovered that she had a natural talent for swimming, and her large front tooth became an advantage, helping her dive deeper to find delicious underwater plants. News of the swimming beaver soon spread throughout the forest, captivating the other animals. Betty's brothers and sisters who had once mocked her were amazed by his, her newfound abilities. They realized that Betty's differences were what made her special and unique. Betty's family and the animals of the forest gathered at the lake, celebrating Betty's transformation and applauding her bravery. Betty's family was overjoyed and apologized for their past behavior. From that day forward, 
Benny became a cherished member of the Beaver family. Known not as Ugly Betty, but as Betty the Beautiful, the swan-like beaver. Together with her family, Betty continued to build magnificent dams and create beautiful habitats in the forest. The animals of the forest admired her determination, her talent, and her kind heart. And so, Betty lived beaverly ever after, proving that true beauty lies not in appearance, but in the acceptance of oneself and others. The tale of Betty the Brave reminded everyone that embracing one's differences can lead to extraordinary adventures and friendships that last a lifetime. <laughs>